from Ramallah. Dr. Barghouti, thank you so much for being with us. Israel had declared a four-hour ceasefire. During this four-hour time period, there continued to be rocket fire from Gaza into Israel. This follows a day when the Palestinian Authority called on both sides, Hamas and Israel, to begin a ceasefire, and Hamas refused. Do you think that Hamas is missing an opportunity here to stop the fighting? Unfortunately, your statement, sir, is full of wrong narrative. Be and, and that's the problem with the world media these days, because the Israeli narrative is overwhelming everybody with wrong information. First of all, there was a ceasefire for four hours declared by Israel and violated by Israel. And Israel attacked a market in Shaja'iya and killed 15 people and injured about 100. Before that, Israel attacked a school protected by UNRWA. And this is the sixth school that Israel attacks and killed there another number of people. What we see here are massacres. This is not a war between Hamas and Israel. It's not a war of Israel on Hamas. It's a war of Israel on the Palestinian civilian population. And that's why 1,310 people have been killed among Palestinians, mostly civilians, 90% are women and children and other civilians, and 7,200 people are injured. On the Israeli side, it's mainly Israeli soldiers that are killed who are invading Gaza. So in my opinion, there is a total disproportionality here. Israel is using disproportional, indiscriminate force against civilian population. There is no justification for these massacres that are happening inside Gaza. And by the way, I am part of the talks with the other groups in Palestine. Hamas agreed on a ceasefire. It was Israel that rejected the offer to have 24 hours ceasefire. It was Mr. Netanyahu that announced that he does not want ceasefire and he wants to proceed with his operation.